Hey guys, what's up? Lewin here at GarageBand and beyond. Hey, sorry it's been so long that I've, uh, have, that I've made a video. Uh, I've been traveling a lot, and I'm in a new band, and I've been, you know, bogged down with homework uh, for the band. Uh, but anyway, I'm back, and uh, I've got tons of videos coming up, so, you know, please subscribe to the channel, and thanks for uh, watching everything. Always happy to have people checking out my videos. So, the thing I want to talk about today is this guy right here. This is uh, my Motion Sound Pro 3. Now, I will say this is the original model. They've come up with a total of three of them now, and this is the first one. Um, the new ones have a two preamp, and yeah, they do sound better, um, but they're really expensive, and I have this one, and it totally serves uh, the purpose that I needed to. So, and I'll tell you really quickly, if you don't know, a Leslie speaker um, is, you know, you've heard it on every recording that has like a Hammond B3 every time you get that tremolo effect. It's literally a speaker that's spinning around. And it has um, two sections. Uh, it has a horn, so the thing that's just capturing the treble, which that literally spins around. And then in a real Leslie, in the bottom of the cabinet, you have a speaker that's facing up that has, and then there's a baffle that spins around. Um, so that helps, you know, spins the, the, the waves, the sound waves around. But this right here is just the horn. Um, and it does have an output going to my amplifier. I have the amp turned down so you can just hear this right now. And it does do a simulated um, low end swell, which is not timed to what's happening on the top. So you get like that true Leslie effect where the, you know, the bass rotor and the top horn, um, they were never timed up. You know, the, the horn usually got the speed a lot faster than the baffle did. Um, so this accurately simulates that. But it does have the spinning horn. So let me show you really quickly, uh, right up here, watch right here. I'll hit the button, and it starts spinning around. Um, so let me show you, this is what it sounds like with it off, just so you can get an idea. Right, it's like kind of like AM radio or something. But if I turn it on, You know, there's lots of pedals that simulate the spinning speaker thing, um, but you know, it's a real physical acoustic phenomenon when you know a horn is literally spinning around. You get a completely different tone than a you know a stationary speaker that's just going wah 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 wah. It's a completely different thing. So now let me turn it on with turn my amp up a little bit. So you can hear it. slow speed right now and actually mine's <laughs> this one's been sitting in storage for a little while so the belt actually has a flat spot on it um, I just ordered a new belt but um, it does still spin in slow speed but it has a tendency to stop um, although it looks like it's doing pretty good now uh, I've had it spinning around for a while so I might have worn that spot out but so that's the that's the slow speed and you can definitely hear what's going on in the lower end that swell and then if I hit the switch again right so you could probably hear how the the top end did get up to speed a lot faster than the low end did um, so that's like I was saying before it's sort of the the simulation of the real old Leslie <laughs> and I think the new ones do too, they have a limiter on it and if you turn it up, it just sort of, it, you get sort of a grindy effect. Let me turn the amp down just so you can hear it. Less gravel, more gravel, whatever you want. Um, 
Um, and it only does uh, limit the horn, so the, the distortion only comes out of the horn. That was nice. <laughs> um, so anyway, that's it, I think. These, you know, in my opinion, like I said, you know, there's lots of pedals that simulate this. This thing weighs 15 pounds or something like that. It's 15 watts and it's like 10 to 15 pounds. It really doesn't weigh anything. Um, you got to add one cable, you know, just like if you had a pedal, you got to add a cable to your signal chain. Um, but if you want to get like a really great Leslie-ish tone, this is by far the best option that you can get. Um, you can find these used. The old ones, the Pro 3s, you can find these used online. Um, if you're lucky, you can find them used online. I got this one for $200, and then I bought a road case for it, and, um, you know, because I wanted to take very good care of it. Um, I think the new ones actually retail for around $800. Um, you know, correct, don't feel the need to correct me if I'm wrong on that, but uh, they are kind of expensive. And, you know, I would love to review a new one. So if you guys want to write to Motion Sound, um, you know, tell them to send me a new one and I will happily review that. So everybody write to Motion Sound, tell them to send me a new uh, Pro 3. <laughs> All right, I think that's it for today. So um, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, I'll see you soon. Later.